Which is he? You and I know of Joan Baez. D, uh, Damien Rafferty, did not know of Joan Baez. You missed out an awful lot, young man, I tell you. Jeremy Givern, you're very, very welcome on the program. Good morning, Ron. From Newry and Mourne District Council. And uh, it, we're, the council has the, the wonderful uh, pride in the Ross Monument in Ross River, the obelisk down there on the way into Ross River. And there's, a, there's, there's going to be a conference about it in the very near future. Yeah? That's correct, uh, Rowan. A number of years ago, the council very much recognised the importance of General Ross not only to local history but more importantly to history on, on the American continent and in around 2007-2008 two, we refurbished the Ross Monument uh, at Rostrava which has proven to be a very uh, popular visitor destination. If people, people are parking through, across the road from it and then w carefully crossing and going up the steps and then climbing the steps to the monument itself and reading the legend there that's, uh, they're on. That's correct uh, and that legend uh, we'll be exploring in much more detail um, at a conference in Rostrava on the weekend of the 18th of October. We're it's bringing across uh, many eminent speakers from right across the globe are, are coming to discuss and explore just how important General Ross uh, was to the formation of the United States of America. Wow, we're in there at the beginning. We are indeed. I mean, this year uh, we'll, we'll celebrate the 189th anniversary of Ross's death. Um, and at the same time, colleagues in the US are celebrating the 189th anniversary of the ending of the war of 1812-1814 wow. um, and that war uh, was seminal, seminal in, a, in that it created the Star Spangled Banner which is the mm -hmm. um, uh, national anthem of the United yeah. States and yeah, our yes. man Ross from Restrever was right in the thick of it. <laughs> he burnt down the White House or something like that. Indeed yeah he, he, he um, is the, the general, the, the, the British general who led forces um, to capture the uh, the, the, the capital, Washington, and he also burned a number of public buildings, including the uh, the White House. And it's very much acknowledged for not only for that uh, for that feat, but also in terms of how he undertook that in the sense that he didn't burn any private homes, he didn't hurt anyone who wasn't um, in combat against his yeah. his, his, his his troops, um, and he burned only the public buildings. And uh, even historians in the U.S. will recognise him and credit him for that. Yeah, he. I I kind of think Newry and Mourne is becoming a kind of place of historic iconography. There's the Ross Monument, yeah. there's the, the Ring of Gullion going even further back, and uh, the whole business of Viking settlement and the Raths and the, the Drumlins of, of Newry and Mourne. Uh, we, we're beginning to, to blossom in this area of our pride and of our intellectual pursuit. And indeed we're finding, um, Rowan, that, that many people are beginning to appreciate uh, the, the history of the, of the area, the archaeology, the geology of the area. Um, if we look, you mentioned the Ring of Gullion, um, if, if we look at some of our visitor statistics over the, over the summer period, during July and August we saw some quarter of a million people came to visit um, the Ring of Gullion in South Armagh, particularly yes. Steve Gullion Venture Play Area, um, and Kilbrony uh, uh, Park, and mm. of course the mountain bike trails which we yes, have there. Course, so yeah. we're now seeing people coming from, uh, from, from afar to, to the region and one very good example of that again is the conference on Ross in, in, in October. And already yeah. we're seeing the bookings for the conference quite high. Yeah. Um, I think that's Is that General Ross that's trying to break in through the ceiling? <laughs> Will you be quiet up there, whoever you are? We, that'll <laughs> put manners in them. And not, they'll not do that. Leave us alone. Why is, why is the conference, first of all, why is it perceived to be necessary? Well, because um, the analogy I use uh, is that back in 2008, the council refurbished the monument. We cleared all the the wind bushes. We cleared all the all, all the scrub, and people began to see. began to the, the, the monument appeared to people again. People mm. could see and enjoy its beauty. But at the same time, the significance of Ross and his historical achievements also began to emerge, mm. and that many people locally, for example, and I'm from Australia myself, did not really realise just how important he was in terms of the formation mm. of America. Mm particularly the relationship with the burning of the White House, the capture of Washington, and the writing of the Star Spangled Banner, which happened at that same time. Mm. So we're only now beginning to, to, to see the import of the man. Mm. And the, the purpose of the conference is to, to share mm. um, uh, this knowledge with others, but also to explore in a modern day context, what are the lessons that can be learned from Ross and from other historical figures That's interesting. for today. Yeah, because uh, the notion of Ross being a a man of war who ensured that civilians, he ensured there was no uh, collateral damage. 
Indeed, uh, and we know, for example, that um, he ordered a number of his uh, of his lieutenants to guard private homes in Washington, uh, Washington at the time to ensure that the homes weren't plundered, to ensure they weren't damaged. So he actually saw himself protecting the people um, against whom he was waging mm -hmm. he was waging war. So there are many lessons to be learned today. Ultimately, of course, he was a loser. Indeed, and of course, um, I've had the privilege of visiting the, the location in, in Baltimore where he was finally shot. Um, uh, and it was en route to the Battle of North Point. Um, and shortly afterwards, of course, uh, the, uh, the, the British forces attacked mm -hmm. Washington and were repelled um, at Fort McHenry by the uh, US uh, mm -hmm. militia and ultimately withdrew from the, uh, from the campaign. And that's a very significant moment in American history and something which the Americans will celebrate next year, which will be the 200th anniversary of uh, the battle at Fort McHenry at, at, yeah. at Baltimore. Um, and, and we want to uh, involve the New York Morning District, particularly your Strever, in some of those celebrations as well. What a lovely idea because we're celebrating that and commemorating that, but we're also in Southern Pines in North Carolina. That's right, we've developed a relationship there and uh, in due course uh, a number of, of people from the region here are going out to play golf in, in Southern Pines. Uh, and we've been working uh, through the Council's Tourism Department with a number of local golf clubs who are sending teams out to Southern Pines um, and who will be on a return visit back to the district again. So Newry Morn is certainly, very, as a district, we're very much open uh, to, to the whole world. Yeah, that's the way it's increasingly seeming. We're going out to Southern Pines in the late autumn and we're going out to broadcast a good morning Newry and Morn and the world from Southern Pines. That's, so that's on the That's on the cards. We still look forward to that. For, oh yeah. God, it'll be great all together. So how long will the conference last? The conference lasts for a weekend. starts on Friday the 18th of October at 7pm and runs to the early afternoon of the uh, Sunday. Mm. The and of course, of course the maxim applies all work and no play makes Jack and Jill dull people. There'll be festivities and socialising in the wonderment of Restrever at the same Absolutely. time. Absolutely, there is a local committee, I call themselves the Ross Committee, who've been working with us in, in terms of putting the conference together. We'll be organising a number of, of tours of the village to look at some of the other historical uh, sites in the village, and also tours of the Ross Monument as well. Uh, we're also involved in the local schools uh, in, in an art competition. Mm -hmm. We'll have an art exhibition uh, there as well. Um, and the local Church of Ireland are also putting on an exhibition of uh, the Ross family history. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about listening to lectures, it's very much getting involved in the local community. And mm -hmm. we would also hope that some of the local businesses, yeah. for example, lo local pubs, may be in a position to put on some um, uh, uh, music activity or festival activity to support the conference as there's well. A thought, there's a thought strikes me just as you speak. <coughs> he was on that city yesterday. Jerry Doherty, the great pianist, the great mm -hmm. uh, uh, composer and director of music, uh, and, and, and Anthony Russell. Oh, yes. Jerry and Anthony come together on occasions to celebrate in music and... Uh, uh, and prose, great events of history. Wouldn't they be wonderful in the middle of that? But maybe too late to get them this year, but what a lovely thing. How's your young man, the, uh, the successful swimmer? Yeah, Lawrence, uh, as He's people know now, he won a, a bronze medal bronze. in the um, IPC World Swimming Championships in, in Montreal. Broke all kinds um, of personal records and world he's records. He's now the third fastest in, in, in the world and the wow. second fastest in Europe in his class. So. But like everything else, you can keep General Ross. I go for <laughs> I'll go for Lawrence. I tell you, yes. he's some boy. Well, he's back training now, and of course he's back to college, and uh, his preparations have now begun for Rio in 2016. All being well. Wow, you must be very hugely proud of, of him. Well, I have to say he's taken all his swimming talent from his mother because ah, uh, <laughs> he certainly hasn't taken it from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in the DNA. It's a shared DNA. That's what it is. Uh, Gerard, thank you very much indeed for coming in. We're going to play you a bit of music now before we let you go back to the, uh, the challenges of, of the administrative work of the council, and that's where you're heading now. Good luck and God bless thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. All the best to you. Good to see you.